In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up Samba file shares. And this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, there are several ways that you can use to share different files on your network. I'll show you one of them. First of all, if I open my file explorer in my Ubuntu, well, basically I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 at a moment. Now, from here, if you right click on any of these folder or let's make a new one, I will name it as skills build, hit enter. And now if I right click on this one and here it says local network share, I will just click on this one. And from here, I can share this folder. If I just click on this option that says share this folder. From here, it is asking that sharing service is not installed and for that purpose, we have to install a service and only then we'll be able to share this particular folder. And one thing is to remember here, and that is this folder is only shareable to the local network. It means if you are out of this network, you will not be able to access this folder. So you just need to install this service. And after that, you will be able to share this folder. So this was one way with the help of GUI that how you can share your folders. But I'll show you now another way that you can use to share your folders and share your files over the network. So I'll just close this one. I'll close this one as well. And I will delete this folder. After that, I'll close my file explorer. And now I'll open my terminal and I'll show you that how you can use Samba to share your files and folders. So first of all, we need to install Samba into our Ubuntu. So I will just write here sudo apt install Samba, hit enter, give it your password, hit enter. And now it will download and install the Samba file share for our Ubuntu. Press Y, hit enter. And now it has started the download and installation process. After that, we'll move ahead. We are done with the download and the installation process has just begun. It will take few seconds. So we are done with the download and installation of our Samba. And now let's move ahead. So first of all, let's check the status of our Samba if it is working or not. So I will write here sudo systemctl space status space smbd. Well, you will use smbd for your Samba whenever you will check status or if you want to start or stop its services. So just hit enter. And here you can see it says active and running. So now we are good to go with our Samba. So first of all, I'll make a folder that is password protected. And after that, I'll make a folder that is accessible to anyone without a password. So for that purpose, first of all, I'll make a directory. The command for that is mkdir, which is make directory. And now I'll name my directory. I will name it as skills build. I will hit enter and we have successfully created a directory. Now, if I ls here, so I will just write here ls space hyphen l hit enter. And here you can see we have a directory with the name of skills build and the owner of that directory is Zubair. So I will just get out of this. And now let's create a user for our Samba. Means this user will be able to access the directory that we had just created over the network. And one thing is very important to know here. And that is Samba has its own users list and databases. So it uses those lists and databases to manage all the users. So now I will just create a user so that he or she can access this directory over the network. The command for that is sudo smb pa double swd space hyphen a, which is a flag, and then write the name of the user that you want to create. I want to name my user as Zubair. This is not this Zubair. This is a user that will be able to access that particular directory. You can name it anything. Hit enter, create new password for this user, retype password for this user, hit enter again. And here it says added user Zubair. So we have successfully created a directory and we have successfully created a user for that as well. Now what we need to do, we need to change some of the settings or you can say we need to add some of the commands in the Samba configuration file. Only then this directory will be able to be shared on our network and only then our user will be able to access it. So for that purpose, we'll go to the directory, which is sudo nano, which will edit the file. And after that backslash etc backslash samba backslash 
now the name of the file which is smb.conf so this is the file that we will edit you can add those line anywhere in this file but i'll go at the end of the file so for that purpose just keep pressing ctrl plus v key and it will take you at the end of your file now we will add our lines or you can say we will add our configuration rules so first of all we'll write the name of the directory that will be presented over the network and obviously this will be skills build and now after that we need to write the path which is path equals home backslash username that is zubair this username is of the system not the one that i had created for my samba after that name of the directory which was skills build so this is the path for our directory and after that we need to write here read only equals no it means whoever comes to access this directory or this folder will be able to execute or edit this directory that is why we are going with read only equals no now we need to write valid user valid user will be the one that we had created and that will be zubair in case if you want to add more user so first of all you have to create those user and then you will be able to add those user into this file and only then those users will be able to access this directory over the network so we are done with this one now we will just get out of this press ctrl x press y hit enter now we have successfully configured our samba files and now we need to restart our samba and the command for that is sudo systemctl space restart space smbd which is samba hit enter and we have successfully restarted it and now i'll head back to my windows 10 and i'll show you if that folder is accessible or not but for that purpose we need to have ip address and only then we'll be able to access that folder so let's check our ip address so i will just write here ip space a hit enter here if you see this is our ip address which is 192.168.179.131 i'll just copy this one and now i'll head back to my windows 10. this is my windows 10 and now i will just enter the ip address in here first of all right here forward slash two times and then just paste the ip address now if i hit enter here if you see it is asking for the password because if you remember we created the directory with password protection so i will write the username that we created and that was zubair and after that write its password and here you can see we have successfully accessed our skills build directory that we created in our ubuntu and now let's head back to our ubuntu this is how you can create a folder and you can share it over the network with the help of samba now let's create a public folder and share it over the network public folders mean you do not need a password to access it so first of all i will create a directory in my root folder so i will just write here sudo mkdir which is for make directory and after that backslash public folder i will just write here pf p for public f for folder hit enter and we have successfully created a public folder if i ls my root directory here i will just write here ls space hyphen l backslash hit enter here if you see we have a folder with the name of pf and the owner is root and here we have some of its permissions now we need to change its owner so for that purpose we'll use a command first of all let me clear my terminal in here so the command for that is sudo space ch own space nobody colon no group space backslash pf which is a directory again backslash hit enter so we have successfully changed the user and group now if i ls here here you can see we have successfully changed the owner of this particular directory and one thing is to remember in here and that is nobody is the one that has the least number of privileges and permissions so now we are done with this one now we need to edit samba configuration file and make the entries for this public folder that we had just created so now i will just clear my terminal and again i will write here sudo nano space backslash etc backslash samba backslash smbd.conf hit enter 
again we'll head to the end of this file keep pressing ctrl plus v and now we will do the entry so the name of the directory is pf obviously if we remember and after that we will write here path equals backslash pf because we have created this one into our root directory that is why we do not need to write home backslash zubair after that we need to write here guest ok equals yes it means you do not need to ask for the password again hit enter come to the next line and we will write here read only equals no and at the end we will write here force user equals nobody and we are done with all the entries and now again we will exit from this file by saving it hit enter and now we need to restart our Samba. So again, we will write here sudo systemctl space restart space smbd hit enter. We have successfully restarted our Samba. And now let's head to our Windows 10 and let's see if we can access this folder or not. So this is my Windows 10. And again, I will write here backslash backslash. And after that, I need to enter the IP address. This is the IP address. So I will just hit enter. And here you can see that we have PF folder, which is public folder accessible very easily. If I double click on it, I can create new files. I can create new folders into this one and I can do a lot of other things. So let's create a new text file. So I will just click on text document and here it says you need permission to perform this action because we did not had given any permission to the user to create files or create folders. And I will show you that how you can give the permission. So I'll head back to my Ubuntu and this is my Ubuntu and now I'll change the permission. So I will just write here ls hyphen l backslash and here if you see we have read write execute and for group we have read and execute and for others we have read and execute. We do not have write permissions. So I will just change this and the command for that is sudo chmod space g for group plus w means right comma o for others plus w means others can also write space backslash pf backslash hit enter and now we have successfully changed the permissions for everyone and now if i ls here again and here you can see for pf anyone can read write execute even if it is user group or other so this is how you can do that as well and now let's head back to our windows 10 this is my Windows 10 and now again I will write the IP address and here we have our public folder and now let's try to make a file or let's try to create a folder. I will right click here, I'll go to new and from here let's create a text document. I will name it as skills build channel hit enter. So we have successfully created this file. And this is because this is a public folder and we had given the permission to this folder as well. Now I'll head back to my Ubuntu. This is my Ubuntu. Let me clear my terminal. And if I ls my PF folder, hit enter. Here you can see we have skills build channel.txt file and this is accessible from here as well. Now let's create a file in our PF folder from our terminal. So I will just write here touch backslash PF backslash file.txt hit enter and now if i go back to my windows 10 and here you can see we have a file with the name of file.txt that we created from our ubuntu and this is how we are accessing one folder from two different operating system but the condition for that is these two operating systems should be on the same network and i am using my ubuntu into my virtual machine and the parent operating system is windows in here and because of that, both of these are using same network. And this is how you can set up your Samba for file sharing. And this is how you can create different kinds of folder, either with password protection or without password. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope now that was very fruitful to you. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.